I mean, it's just me. Or does everybody think that Harry and Meghan, these two people down here, are the biggest narcissists on the planet? All they, all they care about is themselves. Nobody else doesn't care about their parents. Look at uh, Meghan's dad. She didn't care about him. Harry's now stopped, stopped caring about his father. Well, he sort of tries to, he can't knock the king, can he really? He can knock William though, his brother, uh, and that's what he's done in his new book. Um, they don't care about their family. Uh, they don't care about anything but themselves. They're just narcissistic. They left this country wanting to be involved with no publicity whatsoever, no publicity at all, nothing. They want to just be, live a quiet life in America and be forgotten about. But all they've done is they've done Oprah, they've done a Netflix series, they've done part podcasts, they've done interviews after interview. The royal family obviously don't do that, they've got no right to reply. So Harry and Meghan are just in it for themselves. They're not in it for anybody else. These, this couple here that are really good together, they came on the scene, they looked amazing together, they had a great relationship, great wedding. We were abroad when the wedding was going on and we, had a, we, we made sure we sat and we watched the wedding. I think we were in uh, America at the time, made sure we watched the wedding while we were away. But now they've just alienated themselves from the British public and nine, time, nine, time, nine out of ten people in the UK just want them to be quiet, not say anything else and just start living their life and live their private life that they said they wanted to live. They didn't want anything to do with the pub uh, with publicity, with the press, but now all they seem to be doing is courting the press, courting them for their own financial gain. Now I know they've got to make money, they've been paid about 100, 100, 150 million quid from Netflix, they get their, um, their podcast money, they get book money, they, they've had all of that in advance. So why now then still go on about it is it just about the publicity campaign where they've got to carry on doing you know the the book tour they've got to do the the series tour. they've got to talk about you know uh, controversial things to keep them up there in the public eye and that is what they're doing you know it's getting boring but they're all over the news literally you know people are dying around the world all i can see on the top of my news pages Harry and Meghan, Harry and Meghan, Harry and Meghan, and it was never about race. Nothing was ever mentioned about um, about Meghan's race when she came into the family. It was a blessing. It was a she was welcomed with open arms by the British public. Everyone loved her, and then she turned into this narcissist that wanted everything her own way. And unfortunately, in the royal family, that is not how it works. It doesn't work like that in the royal family. You've got to conform to what their ideals are. There can be minor changes and there can be helpful ways where they can help you through the process and make the process easier. Harry should have known about that. There are you know, uh, rumors that she did, apparently didn't know anything about the royal family, but in America, she loved the royal family, was always talking about them. Uh, there's, there's a point in a, a, a passport that in a passport says she's white. So all of a sudden she's pulling the race card that it's all about, you know, uh, because she's got black blood in her, that there's an issue. Uh, but I don't think it's any of that whatsoever, nothing like that whatsoever. I think she was welcome with open arms by the public, and now she's just shot herself right in the foot right in the foot, and Harry's doing the same thing. Uh, he was the favorite role of a lot of people, and he's now, I, I wouldn't even talk to him if he walked past me in the street. Uh, he literally is, you know, he, he's, uh, he's obviously being, his strings are being pulled elsewhere, but you know, he's in love, he's got two kids, he's got a life, just go and live your life, Harry. Go and live your life with your wife and your kids, and stop bringing all of this bad stuff up, like you and your brother had a squabble, uh, me and my brothers have squabbles, my brothers have squabbles, families, it happens in families, nobody's perfect. Unfortunately, you cannot choose your family, you can only choose your friends, you've chosen your friend, you've chosen your partner, your wife, and where you want to be, just go and enjoy that, but stop throwing these bombs all the way back into the UK to try and stir up shit and trouble. Have a great 2023. Thank <laughs> you.